Welcome to the latest edition of Educational Outcomes. As before, we've merged data from various official sources to provide you with a handy one-page summary of all your key data, plus a series of charts to show how your school's performance compares with all others in the country. There's also an extensive database of all schools' results so that you can identify some you might be able to benefit from working with. Not only that, but you can also select any state school in England and get a complete view of their individual performance. If we start with the Select Your School tab, to find data for your chosen school, double-click on the existing school name. Delete the name and start typing the name of your chosen school. The box will also fill and find your chosen school for you. This profile page starts with an overview of your school's context compared with the national picture. What's the profile in terms of prior attainment of last year's Year 11? What about free school meals, SEN and EAL? Moving down the page, we've separated out attainment and progress measures. You'll notice that we've included passes at both Grade 5 and 4 for English, Maths and EBAC. And this year, we're also showing significance for each of the elements of Progress 8, not just the overall figure. Finally, for the left-hand side, there's overall and persistent absence. These figures are for the autumn and spring terms only. And these are followed by the school's latest Ofsted information. We now show the date of the latest short inspection as well, if there has been one. And you can download the latest Ofsted report by clicking on the word Report. Right at the bottom is a figure showing what difference to overall percentages one pupil in the year group can make. Very useful for smaller schools. On the right-hand side of the screen, there's a graph summarising the key attainment data, followed by two tables. The first one breaks attainment and progress data down by prior attainment group. What was your school's attainment 8 score for low prior attainers? And how does that compare with low prior attainers nationally? The second table shows similar information for pupil premium students. This time, we've calculated the gaps in performance for you. But unlike ASP or the IDSR, we've measured your in-school gaps, not the gaps between disadvantaged pupils in the school and non-disadvantaged pupils nationally. We feel that this is useful additional information for you. The final colour-coded column shows how your gaps compare with the national gaps for similar pupils. There's no significance here. It's just red if your gap is bigger, or green if it's smaller. The profile page is followed by three scatter charts. The first two of these plot attainment or progress against the prior attainment of the intake. In this example, the selected school, the orange dot, is in the top left-hand quadrant. Although the prior attainment of its intake was well below the national average, they made well above average progress. Which quadrant will your school be in? Also, look vertically. How many schools are above and below yours? They are all schools with a similar level of prior attainment, yet there's a wide variation in outcome. Why might that be? Are there schools you might be able to learn from or even help. The third chart plots attainment against progress, a useful indicator of overall achievement. In this school, attainment is marginally below the national average, although as we've seen, progress is well above. Schools in the right-hand quadrant have both high attainment and high progress, whereas those in the bottom right have high attainment compared with national, but below average levels of progress. The final tab 
provides a link to an even wider set of data on each state school in England. As we scroll across, you'll see that there's further information on school context, each EBAC slot, EBAC progress measures, attainment and progress by gender, and there's also more information about geographical location and contact details. You might, for example, want to see if there are any schools in your area with a similar gender split and levels of free school meals or prior attainment where boys have made significantly above average progress. By using the filter arrows you can quickly and easily identify any schools that it might be worth getting in touch with. Educational Outcomes is an exclusive benefit for SSAT members, so we do ask you not share the resource with non-member schools. It's available in the Exchange, the Members area, of our website. We also produce versions of Educational Outcomes for Key Stages 2 and 5, and they're all regularly updated when, for example, the latest Ofsted information is released. We hope you've found this introduction to Educational Outcomes useful. If you have any queries about it, or about your SSAT membership, please contact your SSAT Relationship Manager. Thank you.